Hello everybody, my name is Chris Reed and today we are continuing our tutorial series A to Z and Reason Studios. In this video we will be discussing Mimic. Hello everybody, my name is Chris Reed and today I'm going to be continuing our tutorial series A to Z and Reason Studios. And in this video we are going to be discussing Mimic. Mimic is really a great sampler because you're able to manipulate the timing and the pitch of your sample just exactly how you want it to be. Let's jump into Reason so we can check out the Mimic Creative Sample. I'm here inside Reason where I have a file open where we can take a look at Mimic. Since we're working with Mimic, it only makes sense that we have multiple selections of music to work with. In each of these different parts of music, we are using Mimic Creative Samplers in order to create the bass, drums, or to play a sample. Let's begin by taking an overlook of the actual Mimic Sampler. At the top of the Mimic Sampler, you'll find the area where you can load in a patch or save a patch. Down below, you have the four different modes that you can choose from within Mimic. Pitch mode allows you to play the sample in different pitches corresponding to the keys on your keyboard. Think of it as the traditional sampler such as an NNXT or an NN19. As you play a note, it either rises or lowers with the pitch. In slice mode, the sample is sliced up into different slices which you can play on your keyboard. You can also change the sensitivity of the slice to get larger slices. In multi-slot mode, the keyboard does not affect the pitch or slice. However, it plays the different samples that you have placed inside of the slots. It's great to be able to break down drum loops or to load in drum samples and play those drum samples one by one. Last but not least is multi-pitch. Multi-pitch allows you to load in different samples along the slots and then choose the range that you want those slots to be able to be played on your keyboard. So this will be a great use for either combining samples or splitting samples and being able to play a, a sample in your left hand and another sample in your right hand. The next area that we want to take a look at is the slot select. Mimic gives you eight different slots to choose from and you can load samples into each of those eight slots. Each sample inside of the slot can be manipulated by the different effects that Mimic has to offer. So as you can see on this Mimic, I have eight different samples loaded up and I can choose between those eight different samples if I want. <music> The next section that we want to take a look at is our sample window. Inside of our sample window, we can change the start position of the sample, change the end position of the sample, and that's also the place where we can change our sensitivity for our slices inside of the sample. 
So we can either move a slice or we can completely delete a slice by double clicking. In the next section is where we can start to begin to manipulate the sample. One of my favorite ways to manipulate the sample is by simply applying a reverse. Just by applying a reverse, it can completely change the way the sample sounds. I'll switch over to a different part of our beat so that we can show you the difference between speed and pitch. One of the coolest sounds you can get inside of hip hop production is when you pitch up or pitch down a vocal sample, just like we did here. <laughs> There are two things that are affecting this vocal sample. The first is speed and the second is pitch. If we change our speed back to 100%, which is the bass value, our sample sounds like this. So it's not exactly as fast as we would like it to be. So let's change it back to the speed that we found. The next thing is the actual pitch. We change our pitch back down to zero. It sounds like this. The next part of the sampler we want to take a look at is how the mimic engine actually manipulates the sample through stretch. There are a couple different modes you can choose from. Tape, advanced, melody, vocal, and granular. Each type of stretch will change the way the sample sounds. For example, if we switch to tape, the sample sounds like this. Advanced stretch just really gives you a lot more room and flexibility to play with the sample. Each stretch type is well worth your experimentation. So make sure that you experiment with each stretch type before you settle on just one or the other. Really give it a chance to actually experiment and get a different sound out of your samples. The next section really applies to our slices. So if we change the sensitivity knob, it will change how Mimic automatically creates slices for your sample. You can change the position of a slice, add a slice, or remove a slice simply by going back into our sample window and either double clicking on a slice, double clicking on an empty space to add a slice, or clicking and dragging to move the slice where you would like it to go. Portamento, Poly, Mono Retrig, and Mono Legato are functions which are included in all of the samplers. It really just changes the way your keys are affected when you play a key and you play another key right next to it, whether or not it will play both keys or it will stop one key and cut itself, or it will be legato, meaning it will drag over into the next key and you can change the amount that it does that with the portamento. This next section is the typical filter and envelope section. Just like Reason's other devices, it gives you a filter envelope and an amp envelope. You can change which kind of filter affects the sample by clicking this drop down menu. Right now it's off, so no filter is being applied. But if I choose this high pass filter, then I can add that filter effect onto the sample. I'm gonna add in another mimic and another sample so that I can show you the LFO feature. The difference with this LFO is that it can be routed, of course, to other elements inside of the Mimic Sampler. So, for example, we can actually route it to our speed and we can get this effect. Of course, the LFO can also be routed to a filter.
and it can be routed to the amp. The amp section just allows you to increase or decrease the sample. And of course that applies to the different samples inside of the different slots as well. There's a compressor effect that has been included as well. And as you turn up the compressor, you will squeeze the sound. And this effect section has many different effects, including noise, reso noise, ring mod, bit rate, low res, sign fold, and screen. And just like our stretch features, these different effects are well worth your experimentation. So please make sure that you experiment with them. For this bass, I've added a screen and you can turn up the mix right here. So if I turn the mix all the way down, if I turn it up, so I settled somewhere right around here. The last section inside of this sampler is the EQ section. You can add a low cut or a high cut. For this bass, I've added a high cut. And that gave us this sound. Playing samples inside of Mimic truly is a really easy thing to do. Take this 808, for example. All we had to do was drop this 808 inside of the Mimic sampler and it's already set to pitch mode. So therefore it's gonna play just like it would inside of an NN19 or an NNXT. The only other thing we have to do is change our play function by making it a mono retrig so that it cuts itself, roll off a little high cut and we're good to go. The Mimic Creative Sampler really is a great instrument to be able to manipulate your sample, pitching it up, pitching it down, stretching it out, and just applying all different kinds of effects and envelopes to your sampler, all within one great instrument that Reason has provided. If you like this video and feel like you've gotten value out of it, please make sure to leave a thumb up. And if you really like the video, consider sharing it with someone else so that they can receive the valuable information as well. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing so that way you can be notified the next time I upload one of these Reason A to Z tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace.